Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. They are so worried about you. They're going to make you worried about them because they're all up in your business. They are so worried about you and everything you're doing. They watch your every move. They wait for you to appear where you're going to be at. They know where you're going to be at. They have nothing else better to do. You are their entertainment. You are their thing to do when they have nothing to do. And I'm telling you, they have nothing to do. Nothing. They don't have anything to do when they know they could potentially be watching you. They will be in your business about the dumbest things, about things that just don't even make sense for someone to even be worried about. And they're so concerned about you and, and watching you and, and doing things to, to copy you and mock you. It's like, how do you find time for yourself? Do you ever find time for yourself? Do they, and, and, and this is why they'll, this is why they'll be um, not, this is why they'll be non-productive. This is why they'll, they'll stay in the same place and they'll be doing the same thing. And this is why you see little to no change in their life. They're not focused on change. They're not focused on creating a better way for themselves. They stay stuck because they stay worried about somebody else. Some of this, if, if I was in some of the positions I saw them in, whether it be physically or mentally, I'd have to get out because if I was worried about somebody so much to where I didn't even, I, I was more concerned about them than myself, I'd have a problem with that. But since that's the way it is for them, they want that, they want it to be that way for you. They want you to be more worried about yourself. They want you to be more worried about them than you are yourself because they're more worried about you than they are themselves. Try to explain these things to people and only, only a chosen few will understand. The people who it happens to, they're the only ones that will understand. Other people may not get it. They'll make excuses for them and try to act like they understand and well, you know, if that's just people and that's like, that's what people do and that they're just nosy and it's, you know, it's deeper than that. It is deeper than that because of the games they play that come along with it. It's deeper than that. They have, they are, they are out to try to get you on a deep personal level. They're coming at this. They want to deteriorate this. They see your mind working so well. Your mind works well. All right, your, your mind works very well. It's nothing, nothing wrong with the way your mind works just because you're experiencing this type of behavior from folks. They're jealous of you, uh, of you on, a, on a very grand scale. And when people in droves and in groups are jealous of a certain person, they get, in, they get in circles, they have meetings, they plot, they scheme, and they plan on how to try to take that person down. And unfortunately, you'll be in a whole area of people that just some of them, you know, just may not like you. But unfortunately, it's, a, it's groups of them. It's, it's more than one person. And when you're in an area to where you're having to deal with those things and having to deal with this type of behavior from multiple people, then... You can classify that as gang stalking. It's like, okay, this person's on it. That person's on it. This person's doing the same type of behavior. So is he, so is she. 
And people want to say that these things are created by your mind. They want to say that you're, you're creating these characters and these situations in your mind. How is someone creating, like your, your, your mind, you, you can, you can manifest situations to where you meet people and things like that. But to, to man, to, to, that just, that, that doesn't even make sense. I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not going to go there with it. Cause that, that's just, a, that's a slap in the face to the people that have to experience these kinds of things because it's real. And it's just, it's simple as someone just playing a game. And it's like, they, they strategically position themselves in certain places where they know you're going to be, where they know you're going to have to see them and where they know you're going to have to give them the attention that they want. They're, they're, they're narcs. And they, they want you to, they want, they want you to give them your soul. All right. They want, they want your soul to be up for, for, for sale. They they want you to give them everything, time, energy, devotion, uh, walk, roll out the red carpet for them, kiss the ground they walk on, um, show them respect. They want all these things. And it's like, you are just trying to go about your day and live your life. All right. Um, if it was a movie, you know, where things could happen, some things would happen. All right, if, if you were like a if this was if this was a video game and like you had to like you know it was like you versus them kind of thing it it, it would be on and popping but it's not one of those kind of situations this is real life where your decisions <laughs> uh that that could possibly alter another person's reality would have a long lasting imprint on your life so you have to make wise decisions even though people are treating you and dealing with you in a way that is less than comfortable for you. You still have to move wise and move smart when dealing with these kinds of people because yo, they're trying to they trying to trick you up out of the the great life that they're they see you live every day that causes them to be jealous. And they wouldn't love anything more than that than for you to react off of something that they did. And the attacks are it's like it's it's obviously mental but it's it's something it's there the hate is so deep that the attacks are so subtle but what's behind the subtlety and be, what's, what like what is behind the subtlety of the attack is your lack of privacy your lack of being able to just have a normalcy about yourself it's like you deserve privacy you deserve a normal existence. You deserve a life to where you don't have to worry about people doing weird things because they're monitoring you and keeping tracks on you and keeping tabs on you and focused on you and and just just worried about you to the point where it could make a person upset and angry because of all the irritation they have to deal with on a constant day-to-day basis dealing with people who just cannot get a life. And it is what it is. Like they just do not have a life. They're alive. They're living. They're breathing air. They just don't have a life. And when when you have to deal with people like that, it's frustrating because the amount of uh, unnecessary attention that they pay to your life, and it it just it it, it just it like yo make you wanna holler, make you wanna holler. Like yo, just I'm about to go back and listen to that uh, Al Green. I think that was Al Green. All right, I'm, I'm about to go back and listen to that Al. It was either Al Green or Marvin Gaye. Excuse me, might have been Marvin Gaye, but I think it might have been Al Green. But I think it might have been Marvin. I think it might. I think that might have been Marvin. I'm not sure. All right, could could have been Al, but I think it might have been Marvin. I don't know. I always used to get them too confused anyway. All right, um, Eric, we all we all got them songs where you know you used to go out and uh, pull up with your family and go get you some ice cream and they be playing little oldies and while you eat, enjoying your ice cream and stuff like that, all right? The, uh, uh, I, I know that's Al Green, all right? But the, uh, make you wanna holler. That gotta be Al, cause that don't, I, I, man, it could be Marvin, I don't know. Anyway, um, they, want, they, want, they want you to be confused, just like I was trying to figure that out there. They do things to you to try to make you confused, to try to make you have to figure out what's going on. And it's like, why should I have to figure out? I'm just living my life. There's nothing more to figure out. I do what I need to do. I stay to myself. I don't bother nobody. And that's it. But they they don't, they're not even, 
they're not even doing it on a physical level. It's on a psychological level. It's something that, that you have to deal with mentally and continuously sort out like, I'm okay. It's some weird things that are taking place. But me personally, I'm okay. I'm all, I'm all right. And yo, that's why I always say, thank God for a sound mind. All right, I'm always saying that prayer. Thank you, God, for a sound mind. Thank you, God, for a sound mind. You have to pray for sanity and, and, and give gratitude for your wits and give gratitude to God for having a, a, a mind that works right. All right, you, you want to have a mind that works right. And you got to be grateful for a mind that works right. Because it is what it is, man. I, I personally, like the, the, the type of stuff that I've experienced, I really don't care how people perceive me or view my message to a certain extent because it's like, yo, it's like somebody going through something and you're just trying to deny their reality because you're not the one experiencing it or you just turn a blind eye to it or it just doesn't happen to, it just doesn't happen to you. So you're just like, oh, well, whatever. And, yo, they like, they do like weird things. It's like, you, you, you know when something is being done to you it may not be it may not be happening directly but you're smart enough and spiritually in tuned enough to be able to tell like yo something is going on here and i can tell that whatever it is is being aimed at me they may just be doing this and that may appear to not be doing anything to anyone that may be a, that, that may appear in a way to where how can that bother someone but it's like when it's done repeatedly and it happens to the point to where it's like, yo, you're tired of it because you know they're doing it to you. And it's it, the way they're doing it is in a way to where you have to not react to it because it's 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 something that you have to not try to like. It's, it's something that you really can't do anything about because it's not out in the open. It's covert. It's it's like a, a it's just like a, a tactic. It's like a, a warfare move against it's like a strategy against you like they just sit and strategize against you and the things that they do you could tell is aimed at you but it's like it's 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 so heavy but it's so light at the same time you just have to you just have to take it and deal with it on a on a mental level and it is what it is you know people people will say what they say about it but these things do happen to people i know other people will have their opinion on it and they will have ways and that they feel about it and things that they have to say about it. But it's like until you can get to a place where it's just like you and a bunch of trees and just peace. Like, you know, like you, 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 you're, you may unfortunately have to experience and deal with some of this. And it's because of who you are that they are seeking you out because you're not like them. You don't have a demonic presence. You don't have evil energy. All right, there's, there's, there's nothing in you that makes you want to go attack somebody else on any kind of level until they try to do something to you. But anyway, don't, don't, don't attack nobody. All right, you obviously know that because they're not worth your freedom. They're not worth your, your life. And they're really just not worth your peace of mind. They're not worth that. So, you know, we have to deal with it on a, on a mental level. And we, we, take, we, we, we take it very well. And we, we, we handle it like a, a, a person is supposed to handle something. We, we handle this with, with, with um, we handle this with care. I could, I could definitely say that you don't, you definitely don't want to uh, make any mistakes in terms of how you deal with these kind of things, because who knows who they have behind them, um, enlisting them, helping them, whatever it is, but you, you just want to keep your cool and be able to, just, just be able to, um, just be able to keep your peace, man. Um, they, they, and that's the thing that they're attacking. It's like they, they see, they see the angelic glow. They see the God in you. They see the, the heaven in you. They see all these good things when they look at you, but they deny it. How are you going to try to attack someone for the same things that you deny seeing? It's like they really are the ones who have the condition. They really are the ones who have something wrong with them. They see all these things in you, deny seeing it, but attack you for it. They won't treat you like it's you, but they'll attack you for it because it's you. And it's like, yo, people will even go as far as, oh, why are you making videos like that? I don't want to hear that. Shut up. 
blah, 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 blah. But they're, they're, they're like, they will be the same one to display that type of behavior towards somebody. So it's like they want to treat you any kind of way they want. And at the same time, they just want you to shut up and take it. We hate you. Shut up. We're going to behave like this towards you and just take it, be quiet and have no, have nothing to say about it. Have no opinion about it. You're not, you're not, you're not allowed to have a, a voice on the way that you're treated. Just be quiet and deal with it. Nah, we're going, we, we're going, we, we're, 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 we're going to, we're going to help some people with this. All right. As long as I as long as I feel it on my spirit that what what God is 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 is, is demanding of me, what God is use how God is using me, we're gonna make this happen. All right, and and, and 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 we're going to continue to work on our mind and continue to keep ourselves in line and keep ourselves in check, regardless of what's happening around us and all 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 the things that we may have to deal with when it comes to people and the weird ways that they behave towards us because. It's something in them that just make them not like us. And it's some it's something in us that just make make them not not uh <laughs> not wanna be cool with us, you know? So it is what it is. Like you, you you can't not live your life for these people. And there are people who go through things where people don't see it, and you know, it's just cause it's just they don't have a spiritual eyesight. They don't have a spiritual mindset. They can call it losing your mind or crazy. They call it whatever the hell they want, but they don't have they don't have a mindset to where they can see these things. And just because somebody else doesn't see it, oh, okay, well, hey, maybe I'm not seeing it, and then it happens. All right, it's like, come on, man, you're not gonna you're not gonna uh, try and fool me that way. It may not if, you, if you're not experiencing these things, good for you. But I, yo, there's there's no like you you cannot force a lie down your throat and expect that to make you heal you go yo hey i'm experiencing this no you're not okay i'm not what is the what type of what type of method what type of healing what type of of help is that you need to go see someone for what for them to tell me that to for for, for what what is that going to do when you notice that this, this stuff is real it's like, okay, it's not happening. Okay, and then you go back to live your normal life and it continues. You're a very sane person with a very sane mind. And you you just, it's not that you see things, but you see what, you see things that are happening. You see things that are, are going on. You see things that do exist. People can say what they want. They just don't see it. It's not your fault. It's just it's the same way with God. Like the people who don't experience these kind of things, they don't even have no connection with God like that. Some of them, and the ones that do have a real connection with God, they won't they won't see what you see necessarily, but they'll have empathy towards you. Hmm, really? You go through that? What is that? What's I, n- I never heard of that. What that? What's that? What's that you experience? Wow, that's what you go through. Hmm, you say that's happening. Hmm. I have to. I, I won't discredit you. I'll, just, I'll, I'll either have to take your word for it, or you know, I won't say yes. I won't say no. But for people to dismiss that, to dismiss your experience, and to just flat out call it whatever they want to call it because they're not going through it, they can do that. But it doesn't make it not true. I mean, it's, that's it's a lot of things that are happening that people say they experience that a lot more people do experience that people are still denying. Like there's certain people that think um, uh, racism isn't real, but that happens on certain levels of life. And oh, that doesn't real. That's not real. That doesn't happen. Yes, it does on certain levels of life. That, 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 it, that does still exist. And just because someone is thinking that way or saying that or, or speaking like that doesn't mean that it, it, it's just in their head. Just because you you want it to not be a, a thing or just because you say it's in their head doesn't mean that's where it is. There are people who experience things that do happen where some other people just aren't experiencing it and they say that's not happening. I don't know what you're talking about. You could feel that way. You could say that, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. 
they're more worried about you than they, they, they than they should be. I'll tell you that much. They want you to be worried about them because they're all up in your business. And they see that you they see that you ain't you ain't really worried about them like that. You rather focus on yourself and live your life than care about them. You rather pay attention to what you have going on in your day-to-day life than care about them. Their life isn't that uh, amusing to you. They're not, they're not that, uh, you're not that intrigued by them. I mean, there's, there's, it's not your fault that their people are, are consumed, <laughs> like consumed with your life. It's not your fault, but they just, just cause they're consumed with your life. They want you to be consumed with theirs. It's like, yo, you, 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 are, you don't care about their life. Just plain, flat and simple, just plain and simple. You don't care about their life. And you don't care that they care about yours until they make it weird enough for you to like to make you care. And that's that's how they make you care about them. It's demonic. It is demonic. Somebody care about you so much to the point to where they they force you to care about them from the things that they do and the way that they behave towards you. And if that don't make sense, I don't know what to tell you. you we, We are explaining things on this channel like none other. I'll say that. I'm, I'm sure there are some other people who do a, a thorough job of explaining these things, but I, I, I know I'm doing my part. I, I know I'm doing my part because these things are real and they do happen. Right, there are some people who say some things happen that see some things that probably need to do go get checked out. All right. But when it's when it's something as simple as something that you see and then somebody tells you you don't see it, that it it's like it's just, it's just like you're being gaslit. It's, it's just like somebody saying something and then five minutes later saying, I didn't say that. And they're, tr- they're trying to run game on you and play play with you like that. Because they because it's evil. They think it's fun to do things like that to people. It's evil as hell. And that's how they feel the need to deal with people. But little do they know. All right, little do they know. Sooner than later, they're going to have to, they're going to have to receive to pay for that. They're going to have a, it's going to be a price to pay for that. And they're going to, they're going to get what they deserve. They're going to get theirs for that. And you just, you just sit back and let God do his thing. Cause he's, he's watching everything and he sees all of it. Trust and believe he sees all of it. People doing things that make that, that are just unquestionable. It's just like, yo, how? Like, yo, there's no question that didn't just happen. There's no question. I didn't just see that. But, you know, it is what it is. People are going to say what they want. They're going to feel how they want to feel about it. But the people that it happens to, I mean, you're not, you're, you're, you're not seeing things. You're not lying to yourself. They're trying to make you, they're trying to wear you out. <laughs> they're trying to wear you out and trying to break you down, but it's not going to happen. Um, it is what it is. There's just like the, that one song, Cover Me Jesus Under the Blood Up. Cover me, Jesus, under the blood. Like the one lyric that stood out to me in that song, he said, spiritual man see some things uh, uh, other man never see. Like when you're spiritual, you see certain things that other people just don't see. And you you, 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 you see it as clear as day. You're like, yo, did you see that? What are you talking about? Oh, shit. You know you just saw that. But they want to try to act like you didn't. It's all game they want to try to play. They want to try to, it's, it's so many things right with you that they are in a hatred mode to where they want you to feel that it's things wrong with you. There, there are a lot of things right with you. There are a lot of things good with you. And they want you to think that there are some things that just aren't good with you. And it is what it is. You still know how to function. You still know how to operate. These things are real. Like, yo, there's good and there's evil. What do you think evil is doing? You think evil is just standing there twiddling its thumbs? <laughs> I'm evil. I'm just going to stand here and do nothing. They're like, if, if evil exists, like, come on, man. Just, it, uh, it, 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 mm. <laughs> but yo, the, the devil's tired of hiding and the wickedness that they keep committing Yo, it's going to come at their time is going to come. Yo, keep fight the good fight. Keep putting God first. Keep, yo, keep reading your scriptures. Keep putting your mind in your Bible. All right, keep reading. You know, people can say what they want. People can feel how they want, but we won't, we won't make it through this thing. All right, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. 
we gon' make it. And yo, they, they can't stop you if they can't stop your mind. All right, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button, smash the share button. I'll see you in the next video. We out.